Done got old. Can't do the things I used to do. There was a time when some gutter felt he did shit. I think he's a big man, rib you little. Then he gets this funny little half smile when you shove a gun in his mouth and tell him, that's funny. Let's hear another one. his attention and everything else he's got around your finger. And you don't hear shit no more when you come collecting. Well, I done got old. I don't hold a gun no more. Not like that. Well, I done got old. I pack and I wax my Tommy. But it don't get no use. I can't do the things I used to do. I done got old. It's not the same. A used gun and something there to remind you what's gone. I felt the city's winter on my knuckles for 65 years. Makes you wonder what else is out there. Remember the day, baby. Done past and gone. That I could love you most all night long. But now things have changed. Just a minute. And I done got old. Hang on. I can't do the things I used to do Cause I'm an old man You're here for your tribute, I presume. You talk to that guy? He thought I was a different Lou or something. I don't know. In 15 years. I didn't know he retired. Bad heart. He gave me a son's card. He said, he'll take care of it. They're not going to suspend your license, but uh, they're not going to give it back to you till you see a judge. What am I supposed to do until then? Uh, why don't you try slowing down? What, like I'm not enjoying myself? I can't depend on the bus and cabs. It's just not the best month. Joey's not paying for shit. I'm working nights. I don't know what to do. How much are you for the food? I need a grand. You and me both, sweetheart. So how's Michael? A handful. 
Can't find anyone to watch him after school since I started the second shift. Ma's in Florida. My HK kids are good for nothing. So why don't you ask me? You want me to ask you? I don't know. Why don't you ask me? I don't know. Wednesday? A couple hours in the afternoon? You all right with that? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Aren't you going to stay for the turkey? I wish. I can't. Okay. Thanks for calling the guy. Okay. Bye. See you Wednesday. Okay. My little girl. She spends all my money then breaks my friggin' balls for not having any. She's divorced to some jag-off, two-bit, half-a-wise guy out of Cicero. I warned her about those clowns from the Cicero crew. Yeah, but she talks to me again. You get two families in this line of work. Before too long, your family becomes your other family. And then your other family becomes your life. And then, it's not even yours anymore. Counselor. Huh? How's he on the outside today? Mild with a cold front on the way. Good. Place is full of trains, huh? Yes and no, Mr. Jagenstino. The city's rather vocal clean sweep initiative is in full swing now, and we'll see indictments handed out tomorrow. These are federal regarding tax fraud, and one's going to your friend in construction. The labor leader? Concern about the thing from 91. We took care of that in 91. <laughs> if the feds can procure testimony, it'll make their racketeering case, and there's no way of knowing what our friend might say. With him as a turncoat witness, you could be looking at 25. 25? I look like I got 25 in me. You can still sign on the dotted line, keep it in the single digits, and end this now. A plea bargain is still an option. How many fucking times I gotta tell you? I don't cut no fucking deals. I stand trial, like my old man. Have you had a good meal recently? Have you had a good meal recently? Because he's gonna recommend. You go to our club, you talk to our friend there, let him know we spoke. You make sure he realizes Every little thing is going to be taken care of. What do you think I'm going to sit here now? I'm going to agree to stand trial? I just see before me here the table's clear. Hmm? 100%. I understand. And Angelo, every fucking one of them. Stefano's gone inside. Used to be it was blood or number two's got the bump up. Now it's the big talk and the bigger ideas. No respect, no history, no nothing. It was a time it was me, Sammy, Stefano, and Frankie knocking over the collection plate. Now, Sammy's number two. And I'm eating this shit every fucking day. Oh, look who decided to show up. Nothing I could do. Construction. Bumper to bumper for two friggin' hours. <laughs> Only two seasons in this fucking city. Winter and construction. <laughs> if there are any issues, now would be the time, Mr. Galante. One guy, sure. But three all-stars for 80 large. I mean, come on, you're giving me gangbanger prices here. And believe me when I tell you, my friend, this ain't a job for no fucking Mullen Johns. Hmm. I trust 80,000. And Stefano's graces will suffice? Understood. I just don't have anyone working these prices right now. We hear anything from Cicero yet? I tell you anything from Cicero yet? Only when I know you know. Somebody's got to straighten him out. This is family shit we're talking about here. Fuck the politics. Who's Lorenzo looking out for anyway? I'm only gonna tell you this once. Watch your fucking mouth, huh? You wanna talk shit, be smart about it. Now don't make me bring this up again. Bunch of nagging fucks. <laughs> no wonder all you Marizanos are divorced, huh? <laughs> Guys, let's go.
Listen up here, all of you. Big month, guys. We got ourselves a contract bigger than Haitian cock. We're all gonna have to suck it just a little bit. <laughs> Old man goes on trial soon. And you can bet he's gonna want a clean house, so let's keep him very, very happy. Okay? All right, now get the fuck out of here. Let me count my money. Yeah, that's funny. You got a minute? Sure. Why not? That work uh, you were talking about with our friend? Huh? You think you want to give it to me? I got some shit I got to take care of. I could use the extra cash. Lou, this here's a younger man's job, and it don't pay shit. Besides, you ain't done a hit since 1986. It's just not smart. Don't worry. I'll find you something. I think we're done here. Gabish. Most of these punks don't know their history. Not Enzo. Can't forget the shit we used to put him through. Big man, still bitter after tens of years. Wanna get in? You wanna get your cut? You get put through the ringer every fucking day until you accept that it's a system. It used to be, and it worked. Frankie's getting out again. I guess it's gonna be a party, huh? <laughs> Frank Salerno's had more welcome back parties than fucking birthdays. <laughs> well, what about it, Lou? You don't want it. Why not somebody a little more seasoned? I don't even mean me. Stefano were giving out the interest. But he ain't. Everything changes, Lou. And fuck you for thinking otherwise. When the old man starts giving out the good stuff, Lorenzo knows where to send it, huh? Lorenzo eats alone. Close, pal. Oh, yeah? Well, if you want to be open tomorrow, I think we should talk. It's a very dangerous neighborhood, you know? We all gotta look out for each other. Insurance. In case anything should ever happen. You know? You're not gonna squeeze me. And your gramps? He ain't scary anymore. You don't pay your street tax, you get fucked up. You hear me, guy? Yeah. Tiger cage. Three o'clock sharp. Is there a problem? Look at that one there. What's the deal, Sammy? I got this shit on my TV. Lorenzo's giving you the bit. Yeah? It's yours. But I gotta ask, why you wanna do this all of a sudden? I don't know, I just figured I'd get away. Start up somewhere new. Maybe Vegas. Vegas? It's fucking like 120 degrees in the summer there. But it's dry heat. Yeah, so is a fucking oven, but I don't see it climbing inside one. 
Not two old timers retired to Florida. Fuck Florida. Here. The old man wants them done one at a time. First one's by Wednesday. Enzo wants you to send him on vacation. Someplace warm. You ready to get your hands dirty? Never clean in the first place. Delusions of status. Things go wrong. Hey, I'm cheap. I take the fall, I go away. I stay forgotten. Yeah, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Seen here, a local 397 representative and suspected Chicago outfit member Joe Barbone was brought in for questioning on federal charges of income tax evasion and misuse of union pension funds back through the early 90s. I just want to get this confusion cleaned up so that I can get back to work as labor leader for Chicago's union workers. This follows the district attorney's deep probe. Hey. Another union. However, Joe Barbone has been Still me? I've been called worse. Got a wife? Not since 98. That's pretty committed. I still get shaky from time to time. Need a new work or you just had a fluid? You're still a ball buster, Lorraine. Gotta ease up. Brings you around, Lou. Hmm? You you Down on your luck a little? Thought maybe you'd you know come buy clothes. Take me home with you? What are you doing Wednesday night at 8 o'clock? You're looking at it. What do you have planned? Still working on it. You're still over there uh, near the side of the river? Yep. How's parking over there? Am I going to have a problem finding a spot? Things really don't change, do they? You know, I read the person you are at 30 is the person you are for the rest of your life. You didn't know me at 30. I could imagine. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get down. Come on. That's dangerous. I just want to hold it. Does that look like something your mother would let you hold? She's going to be here soon. Fifteen minutes ago. She's always late. 
might hate her. Michael, don't ever let me hear you disrespect your mother again. You understand me? Otherwise, you're gonna get a slap like you never had before. Now, just sit down and be a good boy. You know what this is? This is a Chicago typewriter. The whole city was written down with this thing right here. This is respect. Can I hold it? You think you can lift it? Okay, you can lift it. Does it work? No, it's, it's an antique. Oh, well, you think you're dangerous now? Huh? Not a fucking worried about this. Go ahead. You forgot where I live? Red Line's a disaster. Okay, pal. I'll see you. Be good. Thanks again, Lou. Bye, honey. Careful. Okay. You can't stop the flood of memories when it starts to rain. You either fight to get dry or you let it pour all over you. You let your hands idle enough and you start to notice how much blood's built up over the years. And nothing's gonna wash them off but a fresh start. That's a good one, Eddie. What happened to him? I forget. Who gives a fuck what happened to him? I'm staying at a ghost here. You miss me? Plates, you paint. You'll be driving good in this for a while. I need a piece, too. Nothing that's gonna jam. <laughs> what? I'm not worrying about the piece jamming. I mean, what are you thinking? Crazy and stupid's a young punk's line of work. You're trying to get back a piece of the glory days, Lou? Well, you may as well forget about it, because believe me, the glory days are over. I got two grand here. You want it, or you don't?
It's all right? Yeah, it's all right. Give me a hand here. This fat fuck weighs a ton. Flush his ashes down the toilet. I give him first taste of hell. Back to the date I wasn't there for, and the piece of pavement outside Lorraine's apartment that I call an alibi. I should start appreciating her more. Maybe some flowers. this early, you're going to see a rough morning you wouldn't believe. What are we looking at? We're getting nothing from these guys. Crime lab's here. Body has been removed. As far as I know, this alley is clean. We've got a 9 millimeter slug in the wall over here, no splatter. Based on the trajectory, I'd place a shooter at 5859. Looks like the victim was urinating. We're getting the dirt below checked out. Don't step in it, Rome. Shooter fires again. Judging from the splatter, I'd say that it was a jugular shot, and I'd place the victim's height at 5, 10, 6 foot. Shooter drags the victim out of the alley into the street. We got a male boot print size 10 over there, then puts him in the trunk and backs out. We have tire tracks in the blood. The lab's already on it. How long in the blood? Without a body to match, DNA is only going to tell us who it's not. Either way, it's going to take the better part of a week for analysis. All right, so Shooter, it's on a second, yeah? Why'd he drag him? got a witness out there. Have Streets and Sand come through and clean all this up when you're done playing crime scene. So how'd our date go? It was all right. You were late. The roast wasn't done yet, but I still gave you shit all night. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. She didn't shut up about it. We drank wine and we talked until the morning. Sounds nice. I thought so. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, I'm all shaved. And what if I'm not? You grab a beer and I'll wait. <laughs> you are all charm, you know? I'd like to see that quality on a real date. I don't think I have. So it would be quite the evening. Do you remember that time? Um... Yeah. Give me a minute, I'll remember. Yeah, but I won't. And besides, I'm not in the habit of putting out two nights in a row. Really? You left that part out. Well, it's not something that works its way into a conversation. Especially the way we did it. Now go to your boys. Good morning, ma'am. Is there a Dolores M. Russo that lives here? Who the fuck wants to know? We recovered a black Lexus at a crime scene this morning, ma'am. The vehicle was registered to Dolores Russo. What makes you think it's hers? Come back when you got a warrant, you sons of bitches. It was registered to Dolores Russo at this address. Now, you mind if we come in? Joe's got all that shit in my mother's name. She's upstairs if you want, but she doesn't remember much these days. When's the last time you saw Joe? A few nights ago. Why? So your husband's been 
in the papers lately. Do you think of any enemies Joe might have had? Any, anything involving his recent legal issues? Joe doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> I knew he must be in some kind of shit. He sent me flowers, the asshole. He never sends me flowers. I guess a car would be asking too much. Never sends you flowers? No, he never sends me flowers. Are we done? It's been a pleasure, ma'am. Joey Barbone. Ten will get you 20, we never find him. Take me up, I could use the money. Think about it. He's under federal investigation. You, you gotta stop up the ass so hard he'd get a concussion. Dago Stino's facing trial next month. It's time to clean house. It's flower man shit. This what? What year were you born? 60? Uh, no. 1972. I'm not even gonna tell you what I got in my house older than you. You never heard of the flower man? No. The late 80s saw lawyers putting the heat on trash like Dago Stino. Weird shit. Bodies turning up everywhere. Then there's the flower man. Shit written about this guy. We knew he was from the 31st Street crew. So what do you do? For about a year, year and a half, we had this string of squeaky clean gangland murders tighter than Korean snatch. And corresponding statements from the widows that day that their husbands had sent them flowers. Flowers. All of them. One's a coincidence. Two's a crisis. Sixteen is a fucking pandemic. And so you think he's back now? Today? With all due respect, Ralph, it just seems like a little bit of a stretch. Nah, I didn't say I thought he was back. We're looking at a copycat, intentional or not. I want to know who sent those flowers. Trace that delivery. Is that what you did back then? Did that work out for you pretty good? No. Welcome back, my friend. I can't believe my eyes. Look at you. I was hoping you'd look a little bit more fucking old or something. How's life on the outside? As long as my young friends keep buying me drinks, no complaints. <laughs> I'm looking at young copies of old friends. When did everybody up and die and get replaced? No. It's strange. Excuse me. Lou, to uh, what do I owe the pleasure? Have a seat. Take a stand. We got words. We do. I'll be cordial. What's up, Lou? Usually you need something disposable for that, like a tissue. Me? I get Lou Mary's on. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. You need to take care of your family. Always late on your payments. I'm fucking disgusted with you. You gotta get out, try to stick around for a couple of dogs? Fine. Just remember where your blood is. He's a good kid. He needs his father. All right? That's right. Who was your father, Lou? Paint me a picture. Hey. Is this really the night for that? Fucking hands off me. Lou! Come over here. Now I'm gonna let that go. Lou Marizano. Lou here. He kills his fat union fuck. Now he thinks he can instigate whatever he wants with whomever he wants. So you tell me, Lou. You taking over Cicero now? It's not the way it is, Enz. It's a strictly family shit. Except it's not. And you need to know that by now. If 
things go with Cicero, it's never strictly anything with you two again, and don't you forget it. Here's to Frank Salerno. Welcome back, my friend. Salud. Ray. Still into late nights and early mornings? What do you say, Tiger? Is it just for me? Half of it. I'll take what I can get. So I hear you can place... Uh... Joe Barbone at the Franklin crime scene. We got his Lexus 10 yards away. A witness in the bar around the corner puts him there. His wife hadn't seen him since. How much you want to bet the feds aren't going to be very happy? They're going to be barking around here pretty soon. We got flowers, Harry. No, Ralph. What? How old would he have to be? Don't go jump start in senility. All he's been just a few years from a blubbering old man. What the fuck did I say? I just said we got flowers. Hey, this ain't your home no more. Get out of my ass. You're worse than my ulcers. Yeah, that's me doing that. Mm -hmm. well, what your gut say? It says after 20 years of nothing, we got flowers. 34 East Schiller. East Schiller with an S. Es que no le entiendo. Schiller. Delivery. Address. I know you know these words. All right. Give me that. Policia. Si. Donde es tu delivery? Schiller. Schiller. Yes, Schiller. What does he look like? Uh, <laughs> skinny. Uh, delgado. Fat. Uh, uh, Gordo. Uh, Largo. Alto, sí. No, es un chamaco. Eh, a, a, a boy, eh? eh? Y vive en el barrio. Tenía como unos 13 años. 13. 13. Latino, ¿sí? Latino y tenía como una cachucha roja. 13, boy, Red Hood. Gracias. Qué mamón. I don't know, you know, maybe it's me, Ralph, but 13's a little young for a union card. You're staying here. I'll catch back up with you later. I don't understand this legal work out here. Start by shaking up every 13-year-old Latino goes by that flower shop. A Red Hood would be nice. Our lead is the boy. Find the boy. Hello. We got a meet. I'll pick you up. Michael, come say goodbye to your grandpa. I'll see you, pal. Be a good boy. Father in there's putting wood to his secretary late nights. One of Bobby's Russians got family ties to the cleaning crew. That's your best bet. Administration says gotta be done by Thursday. Gotta be clean. How you feeling? Having the time of my life. Why? You know, you wanna sit this one out, but nobody's gonna judge. Hmm? Fixing that up for the kid? Fixing it up for myself. I gotta keep busy. How you doing, Robbie? All right, brother. So when are you gonna cash in and get yourself a gold watch? When my cell phone dies. <laughs> Who needs a gold watch these days? I need something to show for it first. Yeah, guys like us weren't meant for this kind of job. We should have been firefighters. You want a beer? Beer? Sure. Yeah. Why not? <sighs> so tell me about pension rift. Started back when the uh, state redid the expressways with 60 years cement. It wasn't until 91 union bean counters finally noticed that millions of dollars got siphoned off the pension funds. I got called in to stretch Barbone for some felony assaults that were linked to the investigation. 
I mean, the whole thing was mobbed up. You kidding me? <laughs> How'd something like that get tucked away? Well, I was only working on it for a few weeks before they called me off and moved up the ranks, but things were very sloppy. You know how it is. Alderman Rossi was suspected of laundering money through charity organizations from his ward. Sure. It's amazing who gets elected today and who stays. I strongly suggest you do what you can while you can. Amen to that, brother. what happens when you use people. They make it too easy. What I never got was, I know she's using me too, but for why and for what? Really, for what? So much. What have you seen? 20 suspects an hour. to every one of them that walks by that flower shop and not one. Red Hood, I mean, this is ridiculous. In 88, me and Harry staked out 68th and Blackstone after a body washed up in the river. We lived off of peanuts, a pissed and pop bottle, slept with our eyes open. Neither one of us left the car for a week because we knew that when it went down, the both of us had to be there. We knew that doing your fucking job means doing your fucking job. <laughs> I've known Harry since we were both wearing blue shirts. He's an honest fucking cop, among very few. And better or worse, that shit don't go unnoticed. Shut up, would you? I got a hangover. these words stop police it doesn't mean anything to you come on i think i gotta find any drugs or weapons in here am i what do we got here what's that where'd you get the cash rodrigo my mother i was gonna buy shoes your mother gave you 70 dollars to buy shoes let's go i want to ask her in person wait, wait, wait. okay i did a favor for this guy running errands what kind of errands Flowers? Was it flowers? Look, somebody died, kid. Somebody sent flowers to a guy who got killed. That's a very bad thing to get wrapped up in. Now you tell me, and you be very careful how you answer me. What did he look like? He looked like you. Like me? Yeah. You know, old and shit. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Ah, this way, Junior.
are you doing? Come on. Not hungry? I don't like onions. That's a Chicago dog. It's like a sandwich. It's got tomatoes, relish, pickles, mustard, onions. And I'm gonna sit right here until you eat it. Otherwise, you're gonna walk yourself home. That's such a problem? You like it? No. No. I said that too. My father did the same thing. He caught me tuning up a couple of kids when I was your age. He gave me a smack like I'll never forget. And then we ate dogs right here. Not exactly here, but a place just like this. He said to me, Lou, you're a Marizano. The blood that pumps through your heart keeps you alive day after day is the same blood that built this city. They toughed it out so I could have it good. Now you've got it better. What the hell are you doing working over a kid like that? Was it for money? No. It doesn't have any. Then what's the point? I don't know. You don't know? That's pretty stupid. I mean, when I was a kid, we did some stupid things, but never for nothing. If you get caught, what do you got to show for it? Do this a lot? I don't know. Listen to me. I don't want to hear another I don't know out of your mouth. Question, answer. If you be straight with people, they'll be straight with you. If you don't know your answer, then that's the trouble. Your father teach you this stuff? Finish your dog. It's gonna be a talk. It's gonna be a good talk. It's gonna make a difference. It's gonna make a family. This right here is a situation gonna go one of two ways. And the first one is the way it's gonna go because if I think about the second way it's gonna happen, I'm gonna really start to like the idea. Fucking work. Instead of fucking around with Johnny the Puerto Rican, fucking coconut monkey. We gotta have a talk. I've been having a few of those lately. You're a whiskey man, ain't you, Lou? Sharon, two old fashions. It makes a beauty of a drink. Now listen, I'm fine with sitting down, getting shit right between us. But I gotta ask, you running juice for Angela now? What about Lorenzo? How many points she giving you? <laughs> I'm not fucking around here, Joey. You and Angela are adults. That's between you two. I'm here on behalf of Michael. He's a good kid. I know he's a good kid. He's my fucking son. I've been getting in fights, beating up kids for nothing. Like you didn't do the same thing, come on. I had an old man to straighten me out. He needs his father. He has a father. You're not fucking listening to me, Joey. You're all yipped up on snow. You got a lot of balls saying that. And who the fuck do you think you are? Parent of the year? It's not about me. This is about Michael. Not anymore, it's not. You fucked that up. Just like the great fucking job you did on your daughter. You ought to be apologizing to me, you geriatric motherfuck. Now she's got a heart on for pieces of shit. Gee, I wonder where the fuck she got that from. Sit down. You're interrupting a family conference. If I have to come back here one more time, you're fucking dead. You hear me? Take care of yours. 
Be grateful for the privilege. Try me, you fucking jag off. Lonely in your office? Corner view don't make for good company? Hey, do me a favor. Don't. No sense reopening this case. Nothing to be gained. Some son of a bitch got missed. He sent his wife flowers. We got a 13-year-old kid in Pilsen says otherwise. Oh, really? Well, that's something. Yeah, I'll give you that. Got to ask, though, says otherwise to what? 13-year-old Mexican punk Lucky Lou testimony ain't worth a taco shit, and you know it. Good thing I got friends in high places, right? Oh, Jesus, Ralph, why don't you just retire? Who'd have thought most optimistic stewed potato in the forest? You report to me, and that's a courtesy. Until you get something, not a word of this spills. We don't need your bullshit leaking to the press or the feds. I'll humor you under one condition. What's that? A shower. Just once, I'm dying to see what happens. If you start washing down the drain, I'll light a candle. <laughs> some added heat. It ain't right. Who's it ever? I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. It ain't up to you to determine what's right. You said it was you, so it's you. This motherfucker's done the dawn after next. I'll do the favor of forgetting this conversation. Lorraine! We have nothing to say to each other, Lou. Listen, I'm sorry. Just give me a chance. Yeah, I've given you 20 years of chances. Now it's become a boring rerun. Stuff came up with my son-in-law and needed sorting out. All right? Just let me come in and explain. Yeah, is that what you call it now? Is that what we do, explaining? You come over, you fuck me. After you get done, well, God knows what terrible thing you're out there doing. I get to go over my lines just in case you get caught. You are a selfish prick. Come on, Lorraine. It wasn't like that last night. It wasn't like that last night. Right. You know what, Lou? I don't want a commitment. I just want a dinner that's not a figment of my imagination. Now go fuck yourself. Lorraine, why don't you stop? Lorraine! First time Frankie went away was on account of something dumb. Next time was on account of something personal. Keeping everyone around me at a distance made me a cold son of a bitch. But it kept me alive. Tonight, that's exactly what I'm trying to be. The cold son of a bitch. Here you go, Chief. Lock up when you're done, fellas. Your little number. Uh -huh. That's our show for the night, the next chief. We wait. 
police have added union representative Joseph Barbone to the missing persons list after his car was found at the scene of a shooting late last week. The 600 block of North Franklin was ruled a crime scene after a bloody trail and several 9mm encasements were found on the sidewalk and in a nearby alley. Bill Rossi. Come on, pick up. Listen, I'm very... We got a white male possible asphyxiation for the EMT. Tell him to pick up a fucking priest. Dispatch on the set says that. Officer. I noticed you were limping. Is there a problem? Were you hurt? Just a little arthritis. Nothing serious. I'm out for a walk. Keeps the joints loose. Where are you headed to tonight? I'm headed back to the old lady's place. Walking keeps my blood flowing. Helps me keep a heart on. Oh, shithead. You got any IDs on you? I got ID back at my old lady's place. I'm parked out front. Well, that's your lucky night, because you're going to get a lift. Grab the hood. New, Lou. You ever get that? Bet you do, Lou. Know any good flower shops in Pilsen? Is that gold? Gold watch. We all get one of them sooner or later. It's important to know when it's your time. I heard you gotta go for a job before you get a hard on. That's a sad state of affairs there, pal. Oh, don't get me wrong, my prostate's like Thunderdome, but I think you can't even get a heart on. That is old, my friend. I mean, no disrespect, but look at you. Something went wrong. Let's drop the bullshit. You're scum. You have been for half a century, maybe longer. That's just sad. Never made captain. Never even came close. What's your excuse? I've been meaning to ask you something for a long time. What kind of a man sends flowers to the widow of a man he's killed? What kind of a man is that? I give up. I'm not very good at knock-knock jokes. No, no. I'm serious. I mean, at first... 
I thought it was just some bullshit WAP respect deal. You people got a lot of that bullshit. But then I thought, hey, he's a psycho. Can't separate himself from what his mother told him he was. Then I thought, why, well, he's just a faggot. But now, I just kind of think he's chicken shit. Chicken shit in the eyes of God. Can't face up to his own evil. A little fucking pussy. So tell me, Lou. Which is it? Chicken shit? Or is he just a faggot? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I think you do, Lou. Step four, number two. If you see him, shout it out. None of these are the guy. You sure? Take another look at him. Number one. Number two. You sure? Yeah. I'm sure. So was Mr. Marzano with you earlier? Yeah. Came over around six. Can you fill me in on your evening? Nothing special. Watched Jeopardy, The Wheel. My oven wasn't working, so I made some TV dinners. He had a fucking fit. My niece called. That took a while. He went for a walk, and now he's in a room with indigestion. And I'm sitting here enjoying the pleasure of your company without my face on. I just want to make sure you realize. Honey, you're lying to me. I'm going to charge you as an accessory. You already know that, right? You listen to me. I've been with Lou Marizano for 20 years. And you do not sit there with that smirk on your face and tell me that I can be an accessory. Hmm. Can you verify that Lou was with you last Wednesday evening, 10.30 PM? It is a fucking no-go. Stories corroborate. What do you mean? She said he left at 8.25. Coroners have Rusty dine at what? 8.30. No, he could have gotten there in time. Well, what about last Wednesday? Mm. A neighbor gave a statement saying they saw his caddy parked out all night long. Ralph. We gotta let him go. What's the news, counselor? The cleaning crew was taken in last night. What are you telling me for? You know what to do. I understand the protocol, Stefano. I thought you'd appreciate consultation on this one. I feel what? History? Well, no. Messes? They're not gonna be tolerated. Not now. And not ever. And you clean it the fuck up. tone there, counselor. You know, I should have said fuck it. Let the old fuck rot in jail. Huh? I was just doing a favor. And don't you forget it. Look. He got pinched last night. Lou's never ratted on nobody. I've seen him do his time like a man. Guys his age can't do time. They ain't got enough time left. <sighs> First, he leaves his bad blood in Cicero, then... Wait, wait, wait. What are you saying, Enzo? It starts with a call. Then it's a drive. And then it's a friend. I've been on every angle of this situation before. I've made the call. I've seen the drive, and I've been the friend. Every angle but the one I'm in right now. How's your weekend? A little rough around the edges. You? Is there any other kind? 
We don't do things like we used to. I don't get invited, Sammy. Yeah. Things kind of changed, Lou. You sort of treaded water a little too long there, huh? It was a lot more fun when you were totally fucking nuts, huh? Remember that shit? You kind of fell off after your wife left you. You know that? Maybe I should talk to someone. Let it all out. I could use a smoke, Sam. Sure thing, pal. This is the angle of the situation I know pretty well. We're like brothers to each other. Difference is, I never wanted a brother in the first place. Forget it, pal. Do you think you're leaving? It appears so. So where do we stand? It's been a pleasure, Elliot. All the feds care about is sending Dagnostina downstate. They're not even looking. They don't care. They don't give a shit about all the people that Marzano killed. What about the pension rep file, huh? Last time I checked, that was yours. You started. So what are you going to do about it? What now? Keep it quiet, pal. There's no beating them. Maloney's a good cop, and it can be very frustrating only being a good cop. We got a revolving door of good cops between the academy and the dives. You get me? Yeah, I do, sir, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I apologize. I got a pretty full plate right now. I'm headed to a conference. Let me take over the case. Look, Maloney was onto something. You know, it was big, and it needs follow through. I mean, a victory like this, sir, is exactly what the department needs. Tell me what you got, son. Pension rift. Not familiar. It was this scandal in, in 91. Barbone and Rossi were involved. 
Some names were blacked out on a case file. Maloney thought that's what this whole thing was about all along. But we could use some help. I want this legal. But I also want it done quickly. Hey, Colonel Strago, son. This department is covered in red tape. A good cop respects that. A great cop respects it too much not to know what's behind. You get me? No. Gloves are off, Benz. Better think this through, Lou. Better think about your daughter, your grandson, huh? You want them winding up in Chinatown, huh? It's bad life, Lou, and an even worse death. You hear me? Sammy said the same thing, only he had a nicer tone. They don't do nicer tone. Put away the gun, Lou. You fucked up pretty bad in Cicero. I don't know what the score is here right now. I'm willing to overlook this thing. If, if you just put away the fucking gun. <laughs> everything fall apart because of flowers. What kind of man is that? Jesus Christ, Melanie, you been gone for what, a day? You look like shit. Hey, it took some me time. All right, follow me. Uh, we got a four-bagger. Listen, there was a shootout in the warehouse district yesterday. Sammy Delano, a few Lorenzo's guys got turned into Swiss cheese. Oh, is this yours? You the lead on this? Yeah, it's mine. You got a problem with that? No, I don't. Good. Because you're a liability, my friend, but you're a resource, and I need you on this one. I need you to make me look good. Oh, that's a solid fucking witness you got there. Sir, excuse me. He doesn't speak English. English. He doesn't he understand he English. He doesn't speak English. Not at all. Hey. Grab that thing. Yeah. Submit it as evidence. Sir, I need to know where you got this watch. <laughs> this is 
suspects apartment is on the second floor, number two, right there. I want someone around back now in case of escape. You guys better put on some black suspects considered armed and dangerous. All this for a 60 year old? We got him linked to nine homicides over the past three days. You like those odds? Search the building, the boiler room, the fucking janitor's closet. Someone go door to door and check each apartment. I've been expecting you, Mr. Marizano. Easy. Yes, sir. The problem still remains that one of three informants has not been silenced. The young detective will lead you to him. Make sure it gets done. Keep your hands where I can see them. Something you'd like to say? Open the door. What, are you gonna hit me too? We don't have anything to say! Angela, open the door. I need you to open the door now. Things worse with Joey, and that takes some kind of talent. He's calling here talking crazy. Now get that out of here, Lou. It's clean. I swear I earned it. Yeah? How? It's an investment for a better life for you and Michael. Just please take it and go away. Leave. I can't just do that. What's here for you? Go see your mother. Go anywhere. You're never gonna get a chance like this again, Angela. Am I gonna see you again? Yeah, you're gonna see me again, baby. Let me go talk to Michael. Mind if I sit down? Why don't you come and sit by me? How you doing, okay? Listen. Grandpa's going on vacation. How long are you going to be? Uh, just a while. I just thought I'd come and talk to you. I want you to know that I, I shouldn't have hit you, and I'm, and I'm sorry. But you shouldn't have told your mother about me hitting you, or the gun. I didn't tell her about the gun. Good. Proud of you. But I want you to remember something. To be, to be brave to be smart. And I want to see the person that you're going to be. And there's no room for I don't knows. But most of all, don't ever tell your mother that I let you hold that gun. OK? In fact, don't ever pick up a gun in your whole life. You promise me that? Promise. Good. You be a good boy. Take care of your mother. You make me proud, okay? Mm -hmm. Grandpa loves you, pal. You just be careful and you get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, you too, Pop. You ask yourself, did you do enough for you and yours? Nah, not even close. We checked all the public areas in the building. And <laughs> we'll have a blue shirt sticker on in case he comes back. He wasn't dumb enough to get caught here in the first place. He's not coming back. Walsh. It's Harry. Tension rips deeper than you think. Meet me at the LaSalle garage after everybody clears out. Good, I got it. Be on the lookout, subject drives an 89 Cadillac Fleetwood.
What's he doing here? Listen, we got Marzano's watch. I think the latte on the side. That is nine murders that we can link him to. Why couldn't you just let it go? Civil servant. Man of the people. It's a big picture thing, Ralphie. But we've had some fun. Let's keep it at that. I'll make captain before you, flower man. What about your partner? Drop your piece and turn around. Nice and slow for me, flower man. You shot my partner. You sure about that? I'm sure you killed 16 in 86, and you're having a pretty good comeback, killer. We've had quite the day here, fucking flower man. Yeah? How'd you do today? I did pretty good. Brought in a fucking mass murderer. I'll believe it when I see it. You gonna arrest me? Or just plead till you drown my boots? Maybe I just pulled a trigger. How's that? You can't see a goddamn thing. Shut the fuck up, Jagoff. Now you answer me. Which is it? Chicken shit from the faggot. Huh? Especially before, because you know what's coming. Better get the fuck out of my way. 